Hello, this is Jan from an repair. Today we will go through a repair for an HP notebook that is water damaged. The weird thing about this uh, notebook is uh, that it is working but not charging. Let's go and see what we do with this uh, repair. So we have this water damaged HP 15-CR0037 that is not charging. Let's see what is wrong with this board. The issue is that the percentage of the battery only falling, not rising. We will make an optical inspection first to trace the water damage. And here is uh, what you have noticed. It's very weird to me that this notebook is still working after starts a water spill. This section is the charging IC of the notebook and it is very critical for charging and for powering on the notebook. The MOSFET uh, looks like it is blown, but we will check further. There is no schematic for this board, so we will go with our knowledge and some datasheets. We will clean uh, by reflowing the charging section that it is damaged. We will add flux and low speed air, hot air, for not blowing away anything useful. Hidden flux and reflow everything. Flux, uh, when uh, heated, removes any oxidation, any corrosion. Not all of them, but uh, you will see when we finish that uh, the, the board will be very, very much uh, better. We are trying to move components that uh, we can see they are corroded in order to restore them, to restore their soldering state. We will uh, move the chip too in order to restore its soldering pins and pads. Clean with a sobropylic alcohol and check the condition of the board. Rub with a toothbrush. Not very hard, just to remove uh, any corrosion that is softened by the heat and the flux. as many times as is needed. Optically, it's much better now, I think. There are some capacitors and some resistors that are not so shiny as, it, as they should be, 
but uh, we will measure first and then decide what to do with them. I will check uh, this MOSFET, uh, that was the bad uh, one, that we have a look at it earlier on. So let's go in the diode mode. This MOSFET is OK. Hmm. Let's clean this dual diode too. So, we will uh, connect the battery to the motherboard and see what we have. And we will use uh, our datasheet for the charging IC to determine any faults. So, we'll plug the charger and nothing happens. No charging. The battery is plugged. But no difference if it is plugged or not. We have a white light on the charging port, and this is good news. So, let's go further. We will go to the microscope and measure some voltages. On pin 20, we have uh, the VCC 19 volt. On pin number 6, it is the AC detect that we have uh, 2.5 volts, which is very okay. After AC detect, AC OK must come, which is present, uh, and that's why we are having uh, the charger light on the port. We will check the resistance of the resistor that feeding the pin number 20, which is OK. We will check the feedback of the battery, but first we will have uh, our charging chip schematic from another board. So, we will check uh, pin 12 and pin 13. The SRN and SRP that are connected to the battery, to the coil of the battery, with the help of some resistors. 
which have very low value up to 10 ohms. We will check uh, the pins under the microscope in ohm scale. The resistance is very high, as you can see. The 188 ohm is a very high value for these lines. So let's check the resistor connected to pin 12. And it is 173 ohms. The pin 13 has a resistor that is value is uh, 10.5, which is okay. The problem here is the high value of the resistor in pin 12, which must be replaced. So, we must remove uh, the high value resistor and place another one with the right value. This right value must be around 10 ohms. And uh, it is uh, 6.9 ohms, which is okay. So, we will remove the broken resistor and replace it with a good one. We will place the good one in position and solder back in place. Now we will measure the pin 12 to pin 13 resistance and we will see that we have a healthy value of 16.9 ohms. Now, let's go and see the board with the connected battery and after we will plug in the charger. We can see that it's uh, delivering which is uh, okay. I think the, the battery is charging but uh, let's measure with the multimeter. We have 12.56 uh, uh, volts on the battery. And after we're removing the charger, we have uh, 11.5 volts. So the battery is charging. Let's see again. After plugging the charger, we have 12.5. Yes, the battery is charging. The problem is no more. That was the repair. You saw what we did with the, with this uh, situation. You saw that uh, very small things can do a lot of damage. And how we fix it. If you like this video, please consider like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching. See you in another repair. Bye.